as you know, I was in the UK for the launch of the new iPad Pro M4 and iPad Air M2, respectively. My first Apple keynote event, amazing, but I had an opportunity to speak to Greg Joswiak, who's the Senior Vice President of Worldwide Marketing, also known as Jaws, and John Turnus, Senior Vice President of Hardware Engineering. You saw him in the keynote talking about all things iPad and M4. And to have this opportunity to talk to these two gentlemen was, thank you, Apple. Thank you so much. We talked everything from why they consider the iPad a magical device, to the M4 chips, to even down to the color choices, how they choose color for their products. It was a fun conversation and I hope you guys enjoy. Word magical comes about. What does magical mean to both of you when it comes well, to the iPad? Well, first of all, I would say it's an important word for us at Apple, you know, yeah. that. we <laughs> use it a lot, you, you know, and the reason is because we so much like technology to disappear and just have incredible things happen, right? To make your experience better and so many times it feels like magic, right? How does that happen? Uh, an example for me is just like how we now with the Apple new, new Apple Pencil Pro, using it feels like magic. The fact that you can squeeze it and have something happen. The fact that you roll it while you're using it, right? And you have a gyroscope inside that just feels like it's magic when you're using it with a, an app like Procreate. It's absolutely incredible. We use it, you know, so many times to describe the experience that we're trying to give our customers through hardware, software integration to offer these magical experiences. How about you? John? Yeah, I think, I mean, along the same lines, it's that that surprise and that magical feeling. You pick up that iPad Pro and it's so thin and it's so light, and then you see how amazing the display is and the performance and everything. And I think, you know, we've already heard a lot, and it's like, how did you do that? Like, how is that possible? Like, yeah. that's that's what it means to me is just kind of blowing people away with they never thought something like that could happen. And yeah. speaking of that, because the one thing that Apple's always done well for so long is the that convergence of being able to market a product that's so simple, but yet there's so much behind it. Mm -hmm. right. Now, right. You're in engineering, you're in marketing. No. How's this synergy, how's this chemistry between the both of you? Because you probably want to do a lot of things and you're like, I got to sell this thing. I got to make it simple and get this out to the mass public. Yeah. How do you guys work together that way? Yeah, the amazing thing is we work together from the beginning yeah. of everything. Absolutely. Uh, it isn't, uh, you know, these guys develop a product and then we figure out, okay, what are we going to do? Mm -hmm. uh, how are we going to, you know, market it? The reality is, Marketing to us is telling the truth behind the product. Mm. You know, Stevie's always tells us that all, all great marketing, you know, is based on the truth, mm. right? You have to, and our truth is is great products. And then we have to figure out to explain to people, why did we make the decisions mm. we did? Mm. And so we're part of the process, right? Uh, you know, again, a lot of organizations, the marketing is the afterthought. Yes. You know, for us, we work uh, together on, on what are the features going to be? What are the products going to be? We're trying to always think, how are we going to you know, explain this to the world in a way that makes it clear that we're doing things with the best intent. We're doing things to try to create the best products we can. And now how are we best going to explain that? Because that is our truth. Yeah, I mean, I think everything we do at Apple is about collaboration and you see it in the in the way we tell the story, in the product itself, in the you know, technology that goes into it, and the software that runs on it. It's all of us working together and kind of each person, each group doing their part. You know, on, on the engineering side, it's our job to figure out what's possible, what can we do, how can we push the envelope, how can we make it more powerful, thinner, you know, any of those things, and then working together to figure out how we do the whole story. You know? even, even in our keynote video, right? Yeah. We have people like John, right, who are in it because we want it to always be authentic, that the people in the videos are the people who worked on the things that we're presenting. Right. It isn't a, hey, you're a good looking guy, which he is, you know, but, uh, you know, let, let's put him in a video. You know, it's because we want it to feel authentic. We want it to be the people who are explaining what they did in a way that is our truth again. Gotcha. Yeah. Now, one of the things that Apple's always done well, in my personal opinion, is colors. And I know it's a simple thing, but there's a lot of science. There's a lot of decisions behind. And we talk about the air. Mm -hmm. and the color palette that you guys have chosen. Because every year when you guys choose colors, it changes the entire mm -hmm. industry. Mm -hmm. What goes behind that to find that? Because it's, again, it's bringing the public in to go, oh wow, yeah. I need that product now because maybe it's purple, maybe it's blue, yeah. but it has great technology. But what is it? where does that come into play? Look, we, we have a history of having the world's best industrial design team, mm -hmm. right? And their job, right, is to make sure that we have products that not just look great, but you know, part of the functionality, mm -hmm. right? They're, they're part of that process with Absolutely. John and his team is is they're designed together with the engineering. Again, these things aren't done in sequence, they're done in collaboration. And they have an incredible knack, mm -hmm. you know, at understanding colors that are going to be, your point, not, not popular last year, but they're <laughs> going to be popular yeah. moving forward. And, uh, and that's what brilliant designers do. Yeah. Now, talk about the M4. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is just a chip that's, I mean, you're already way ahead of the curve anyway. 
I mean, you guys could have sat back for two years and just kicked back and, <laughs> you know, had some, you know, some drinks on the beach, but you pushed out with the M4. What is this gonna do going forward? Because I mean, we've got so much power in the iPad Pro now. Uh -huh. And then you're looking at all the products can go combined. What is this, what is this saying for Apple, like with the M4? I mean, it's just, it's another, you know, moment of us pushing forward. What's interesting about M4 and this iPad Pro is we couldn't have made the iPad Pro without M4, mm. right? That, that tandem OLED display, we needed the new uh, display pipeline in M4 to drive it. We needed the incredible uh, power efficiency of M4 to build such a thin device that has such good performance. So this is, I mean, this is us taking all of the things that we're best at and, and bringing them together to build this product that we were so excited to make and we just had to build all the, you know, the fundamental technologies to make it happen. And what was the most challenging part of making the iPad Pro so thin? <sighs> Uh, you know, I think it's 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 fundamentally the fact that with iPad Pro, we want to make the best iPad we can possibly make. Mm -hmm. And so we wanted to make it thin and also make it better in every way. Mm -hmm. A better display, more performance, right? You know, amazing battery life. So, so it was trying to create thinness without losing anything. So it was, you know, we actually improved the thermal capacity. It actually has more thermal capacity than the previous design. Yeah. It's it's actually a little bit stronger than the, the previous design. It was it was doing all the work to make sure that we could say when we were done and know that this is the best iPad we've ever made in every way. Wow. And Jaws, one last question. You've been with Apple for so long. A long time. I mean, the history, I mean, yeah. the products after product. What has been the one What's been one of the top three that has excited you the most out of everything you've been a part of in Apple? For, for products? Yeah. Uh, well, I'm right here talking about the great iPad Pro. Yes. Uh, it is magical. Look, we, we, we had a division when we introduced the iPad, which was you know back to 2010. Right. Right. And, and the vision was we wanted to become a, a, a magical sheet of glass mm -hmm. that could be anything you wanted it to be. Mm -hmm. and, and that has been really the mantra we've had ever since. And this generation, of what John and his team and what John just described they were able to do with the iPad Pro is not just the best iPad Pro and best ex uh, expression of iPad we've ever had. It really is the iPad we always wanted to make because it does feel more than ever as this incredible piece of glass that you pick up and the technology disappears, Yes. right? And what you want to do rises. Right, whether it's using you know Procreate to you know, do a next great illustration and drawing, whether you want to use you know Final Cut and do multicam and do this incredible video editing, or Logic Pro and be able to do incredible sound creation and music creation, you know, or you just want to enjoy a movie or do your email, the product disappears. What you do is what it becomes, you know, and that that to me is exciting. So I, I this is when you feel a realization of a dream mm -hmm. of a vision. You know, there's something magical about that, and certainly that, that's that's where my mind is this week. Awesome. Guys, thank you so much. Really yeah. appreciate it. Oh, really thank, you. Awesome. thank you. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Thank you.